Hey, this is FGMX and welcome back to another video. And today, I'll be showing you guys how you can make a lower thirds very easily. Here's an example of what we're going to be making today. So before we get started with the tutorial, I'd like to apologize for all the background noise you might be hearing because I'm currently not in town, but that won't stop me from making a video. So let's get started with the tutorial. Now first thing I want to do is create a new composition and we're going to make this 2 seconds and 30 milliseconds. So 2.5 seconds. So we're going to hit enter and let's get started constructing our lower thirds. So we're going to draw a rough rectangle right here. Next thing we want to do is press P to bring up the position property. Now press the stopwatch to, an uh, to animate the keyframes. And let's move forward in time to the end of uh, to around the end of the animation, but not too close. So let's add a keyframe here. Let's go back to the uh, first keyframe, and let's pull it back all the way here. Let's add some easing, and currently it looks like this. To me it looks a little bit slow so let me just decrease the time here so yep that feels much better now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the second keyframe here and we're gonna add a text layer so let's just put John Doe for this one let's center in the composition and let's change the type to regular for now so we'll keep we'll keep the text right here and we're going to duplicate this text and we're going to bring it down here and let's rename this to manager so so this is the role of the person that we're introducing here so let's lower the scale here now let's just precisely move here all right there we have it now this is all lined up so now we need to parent this so we don't have to animate the text as well. So let's just grab these two, grab hold of the pick whip, and let's drag it to shape layer one. So now, as you can see, it animates with the box. Next thing we want to do is we're just going to improve on this because this looks a little bit plain right now. So let's duplicate this layer and let's get rid of these keyframes right now because we don't need those. And we're going to unlink the scale property so we can decrease it unproportionally. So let's make it around this thin perhaps. And let's keep it here. And we'll change the color. Let's make it this color over here. So let's take the text and we'll move it to the right of the line. So, so it's all even now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this shape layer to this pink or red rectangle we're going to parent it to shape layer one or the blue box so now this animates with this go to the end and we're going to set a position keyframe for shape layer two or the pink rectangle and we're going to go back and see what this blue line is this is the fine this is the edge of our blue rectangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this outline as a reference when we're moving our pink rectangle which looks like this, the this blue box that we're moving right now and we're going to align it to the edge of this other blue box. So once we align the two we're going to see an animation that looks pretty good. So let's go back now let's um easy ease this keyframe let's put this layer in front of all the other layers now what we're gonna do is this is the easiest way to do this so we're gonna duplicate this layer and we're going to unlink this from any other layer so just go here and press none we're gonna delete the keyframes and what we're gonna do is press scale and we're gonna increase it by a little bit we're going to take the rectangle and align it towards the edge of the other rectangle over here 
so as you can see there should be no gap between them and this will just make this much more complex than it actually is so let's take the shape layer and we'll link it to the uh, other pink rectangle that we created before now what it's going to look like is this now this looks pretty cool but we can improve it and make it look more complex by doing this so we can take this layer and we can change the color to the color of the rectangle so now it looks like the text is being revealed by the pink rectangle and there's nothing there in here so this is pretty cool last thing we can do we can take this pink rectangle here and we can add a drop shadow to it go here to layer styles and drop shadow so now if we go back you can see the final result which we have all right great that looks pretty cool and this concludes our tutorial today so thank you guys so much for watching and i'm hoping to upload more tutorials and other videos over the summer right now thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time peace